Warning, the following video contains images that may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion advised. He's still breathing. We can save him. I can narrow down the window of opportunity that the poacher had to get this deer to about a 25 or 30 minute time frame. We had driven out this road about 30 minutes prior to visit with a friend and driving back we saw this deer laying in the meadow. He's about 15 feet off the road and there's absolutely zero chance that I would have missed it on the way out. I'm always looking the tree line when, I, when I'm driving around here. We decided we'd go up to the house and get the scooters because the ground was extremely soft and we didn't want to get stuck off road. So we got upon it initially thinking it was a wild animal kill, but it was immediately apparent that it wasn't. Here's the surrounding terrain. We looked for any tire marks, any foot marks, any evidence of, of something that a human may have left behind and we didn't find anything. And you'll see here on the side of his head, just behind his eye, the hole, the entry hole, which was probably the, the fatal wound. See right there below my thumb. Now at this point we hop on our bikes and we start making concentric circles out for a good quarter mile looking for anybody that may be walking through the woods with a, a leg of deer slung over their shoulder and we didn't find anybody and we were quickly losing daylight so we decided we'd come back and tend to the deer. Here I take my bare hand, this is the first time I've actually touched it with my bare hand and it's 85, 90 degrees, it's, it's almost fresh, I mean really if we had done CPR we may have been able to get some uh, some activity in the, in the heart because it's really really fresh. You'll see the green matter that's laying there is fecal matter. He's obviously cut the uh, digestive tract out of there and contaminated the deer carcass with poo poo. Yeah, so we decide not to leave it here. I don't want to leave it this close to our road because some scavenger predators are going to be hounded on this uh, within a couple hours and I don't want to bring coyotes. I don't want to bring any of the predators scavenger predators that close to the road you can see how close the road is there it's literally right in front of, of skippy there and my neighbor walks along here with their dogs and other neighbors walk here just to uh you know for their daily exercise and I, I don't want i don't want that so we drag him a good half mile out into the mountains and we leave him here now this is still on my property and this is in wide open space i don't want the poacher coming back to get his meat first of all i don't want predators that close to the road second of all thirdly i want to put it out in the open so the vultures can easily get to it and safely get to it uh, and you'll see here look at this we just happen upon a cut fence line now i ran these fence lines the end of january and i know that this fence was intact my property's on the side of the fence that i'm standing on is here that's my neighbor's property over there and uh, neither of the two of us had found had found this fence down so I don't know when this was cut but like I said uh, beginning of this year when I ran the lines it was there now nice wide open space this young this young doe is going to sit out here and uh, I'm just going to help the local ecology uh, by leaving them here her here now some of you may say why do I do the next thing that I do well I wanted to determine. I knew the DFG wasn't going to come out and take the carcass. I knew they weren't going to do x-rays and look for a projectile. And I see the hole there in the side of the head. So I'm going to take it upon myself to open things up a little bit and look to see if it was a bullet or an arrow. The size of the hole, I suspect it was a smoothbore arrow. I look on the back side of the deer's head and neck. There are no exit wounds. So that's telling me either it's a small caliber rifle or, a, uh, or an arrow. I've already talked to several of my neighbors at this point. Nobody's heard any gunfire. Although if you came in with a 22 or something, it would be it would be probably not heard. But what do I do? Get out my trusty Leatherman and I start digging around looking. Now you guys might find this disturbing, but uh, I just find it as field research and exploratory. I'm extremely careful. I can follow my finger along the hole that's in the, the skull of this animal. I'm extremely careful because I know there's how sharp bone fragments can be. I know that if there is a bullet fragment in there, an expanding type bullet, that could be very sharp. I could be getting some lead fragments. And he keeps looking at me, so I try closing its eye. Right there, my finger's gone all the way through to the back side of his, of his neck. I'm literally touching my right hand with my left pointer finger, uh, through the skin, of course. And I don't find anything. And I decide to take a little deeper cut. So... I know you guys were interested in looking at this. This is stuff that happens out of the city, unfortunately, quite a bit. The neighbors say this happens 
uh, on their property too now and again. And I think it's a dirt bag move and it's extremely fortunate that we didn't run into the poacher because it, it just would have not ended well, not ended well at all. You guys know about 13 days later, I cruised up to the ranch to grab my camera gear because I forgot my camera gear up there. So I thought I'd go out to that clearing and take a look and see what was left. And in just under two weeks, you could see this deer is just about completely recycled. I find it interesting that no creature came and dragged it off or at least took parts of it away, which might be indicative of vultures uh, picking at it. You know, if a coyote or something had come, I would think they would have taken segments away. But I could be wrong. Things, uh, you know, are not always black and white in nature. But definitely this deer was, was beneficial to the local, the local critters out there. They got it. You can see the neck. It's the same deer. You see the cut open on the neck. So I just left it there. It'll turn into dirt again. I just appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day. See ya.